What is up guys? Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. We are out here in the wood yard on a rainy, dreary, southwestern Connecticut day, but I don't think there is any type of weather that could keep a huge smile from being on my face because I would like to introduce you to my new Kubota Mini Excavator. That's right guys, yesterday I solidified the deal and finally pulled the trigger on a Kubota U35-4 Mini Excavator. Now this thing is not brand new, it is used, it is a 2019. And for those of you wondering, yes, I bought it myself 100% with money. It was not given to me, this is not a sponsored machine or anything like that. A mini excavator is a piece of equipment that I've been looking at more seriously in the last year or so. Um, as you guys know, I do tree work professionally and we do a lot of firewood here on the channel. And this machine is, while it's gonna be used a little bit for those two tasks, I'm hoping to branch out the services that I'm able to offer and start doing a little bit more, you know, dirt work and grainage, uh, drainage and grading and stuff of that nature for reasons that I will explain here in just a little bit. So a little bit of the backstory here. Um, it was a rainy, dreary Saturday last weekend. And um, Saturday morning, I was getting the wood stove going, having my morning coffee. And as per usual, I get a message on Facebook from my buddy Chris, who's in a lot of the videos here. You guys definitely know him. And he sent me a listing on Facebook Marketplace to a tiny, tiny, tiny little baby mini excavator. Uh, I think it was kind of like as a joke, um, but the thing was so small that it was actually like comical and it was, it was actually kind of cool. Um, and then, you know, so I kind of looked at it, scrolled down and it said similar listings, you know, in your area and this machine popped up. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, that thing looks really clean and started thinking about it. I was messaging back and forth with the guy. Next thing you know, later that afternoon, Sarah, myself and Louie are in the truck and we're headed up to look at the thing in person. And you know, the rest is history. Here we are about a, a little less than a week later, picked it up last night. I will include some footage of us loading it and picking it up right here. Dude Ranch DIY got its first excavator. <laughs> so yeah, now Dude Ranch DIY is the proud new owner of a Kubota U35-4 mini excavator. Now, in my opinion, this thing is pretty darn clean. It's really tight. It's been really well maintained um, for its hours and I will share with you the hours here in a second. This thing has 5,000 hours on it, which at first was a bit of a red flag. I was pretty concerned about 
having that many hours for being so, you know a relatively new unit it's about five years old so that's about a thousand hours a year which is you know some pretty serious use but through talking with its owner it was determined that this machine was owned by a tree company go figure in the past and basically uh, the owner of the company bought this machine to keep his guys busy doing firewood in the winter time you know they're down season and he understandably didn't want to be standing out in the cold all winter um, so he bought this machine to basically pick up logs his guys would cut them up into rounds and that's basically what this machine did for the majority of its life um, so a lot of those hours were you know very low uh, like idle hours um, don't worry this thing does is not a large enough machine to have uh, the DEF and the EGR and the DPF filter and everything so idling was not a big major concern um, the thing was used so it, you know idling is better than just sitting and once I heard that and kind of you know it, it kind of made made sense for the you know the the uh, the lack of use or the condition that this machine was in for having 5,000 hours didn't really add up until I heard that as we open up the cab here you will see it is pretty darn clean as well the only thing wrong with it is that the two uh, radio speakers do not work the radio works and they get power to the speakers but the speakers do not work but that is the least of my concerns here um, everything is very clean on it really well maintained taken care of you'll notice it does have the uh the four-way you know with the hydraulic angle blade on the front there which is really nice it's got a hydraulic thumb um, and this machine weighs in even though it's a u35 which the u stands for it having zero tail swing and the 35 is like 3.5 ton this machine actually weighs in at about 8800 pounds with the the addition of the cab and the angle blade it puts it um just just shy of 9000 pounds which is a pretty good sized machine in my opinion and for what i think i want to be you know doing with this machine machine We'll quickly open up the engine compartment here and show you. Um, again, really, really clean. It had a full service when I went and picked it up, or just before I went and picked it up. Open up the hydraulic hatch here. Oh, well, this panel just fell off, uh, but it looks like it just gets held in with a couple bolts, so we can fix that. But uh, yeah, everything super clean down in here. No major leaks or anything. There's like no dirt or, or grime on any of the hydraulic lines. So we are looking good. I think I found myself a diamond in the rough here. So in addition to the 12 inch trenching bucket, it also came with a 24 inch digging bucket. So I think that bucket will come in handy quite often that'll probably be what is on the machine the majority of the time it does have the quick pin you know like Kubota coupler here where you just uh, hook the bucket up and then slide that pin through um, to secure it in place it's not a hydraulic quick coupler but it is a you know a form of a quick coupler so I'm super excited to have this thing here. This was honestly, you know, this is gonna be trial and error. I have run excavators very minimally throughout my career and, you know, lifespan here. Um, but it is it has always been a dream of mine to have a mini excavator, both to be able to offer services and work and make money with, and I would love to just have one here around the property because I think there's a lot of projects that I would like to do now and plenty of things that I'm sure will come on down the line in the future um, so this is kind of an experiment you know I, I bought this thing and Sarah and I talked about it and the hope is to earn some money with it and you know as, as long as everything goes well which I think it should I'm hoping that you know I can learn how to use this and use it for more than just tree work and firewood because obviously that would not justify the cost of a machine such as this despite the fact that I got a really good deal on it as you can see I have no wood here in front of the Easter made log splitter so a good first project you know and for me to practice with this mini excavator I think would to uh, be picking up these these logs marking them out with the Mingo marker and just practicing picking them up and you know figuring out the whole bucket curl and the thumb and everything and try to cut the logs in the air suspended nice ergonomic so I'm gonna drive the mini excavator over here we'll pick up some of these logs and get to cutting
All right, so now I'm gonna mark the, the log with the Mingo marker here. And hopefully I should, in theory, be able to pick it up like right in the middle here in between two of the marks because that's a 12 inch bucket and we should be able to cut it all the way down to just one piece left. Got it. Some of you might be wondering why I decided to go out and purchase a mini excavator. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of comments asking that. And the, the true answer is, is that I've been looking at one for a while, just kind of throwing the idea, tossing the idea back and forth. Um, I, I know that they are super versatile in what they do. They do a lot more than just digging and earthwork, which is something that I really personally do not know how to do. Um, as I mentioned, I would like to get to that point and learn how to do it. But the, as I get older and the guys that I work with doing the tree work get older and you know we've gotten married, some people are starting to have kids or multiple kids, the amount of time that uh, my guys have to work and do jobs, tree work and stuff like that, because we don't do it full time, we just kind of do it as, as a side gig, um, the, the time that everybody has seems to be dwindling. And it gets less and less each summer, you know, spring, and it gets harder and harder to orchestrate and coordinate, you know, four or five guys' different schedules along with the schedule of the client. Um, so I looked at this piece of equipment, this mini excavator, purchasing, the, purchasing this piece of equipment as an investment in myself. Yes, selfishly, it's something that I've always wanted. I mean, let's be honest, if you're watching YouTube channels like this, everybody wants a mini excavator. And um, I'm investing in myself by hopefully allowing myself to open up some more doors to be more self-sufficient. And self-sufficient, I mean that I already have uh, the international hook lift truck, which you know can also act as a dump truck. I have the trailer to transport this. I have a dump trailer that I could also transport this. So I was basically already set up to do some light, you know, excavating work or, you know, woods property cleanup and stuff like that. Um, demolition of some small, you know, like little barns or sheds and things. And those are all side jobs and tasks that I can do on my own. 
and I'm not really reliant on scheduling three or four other people in order to get the job done like we do with these big tree jobs that, you know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you've seen that it takes an army to get down a big tree and yeah, we can do it and, you know, we get it done in a day, but that's not something that I can do on my own. And if the schedules of everybody keep, you know, heading in the trajectory that they are when everybody has kids, you know, myself included, my time is going to be limited. So I would rather be able to work around my own schedule and go out and work an afternoon doing a little job with a machine such as this, or maybe the tractor or something, than having to, you know, schedule four or five guys to go out and do some tree work. Well, all right, guys, I think that's going to wrap this one up. It's starting to rain pretty good here now, and I got somewhere to be later this afternoon. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. I am obviously stoked that I got this brand new, well, brand new to me, <laughs> Kubota mini excavator here. Um, I'm very fortunate, just, just so thankful that I was able to make a purchase like this. Um, and a lot of it, honestly, is because of you guys just watching and engaging. So if you like the video and you wanna see me continue to learn how to use this thing and learn how to use it for more than just cutting up firewood, rounds in the wood yard here. Uh, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Please put all your questions, comments, and feedback down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.